Jared Poland Fronos Photo. Dot com And this is another Squarespace video for those of you guys who have Squarespace. It's not a rapid-fire Squarespace website critique right now. I'll have more of those coming up, but it's something simple that you can add to your Squarespace that makes it stand out a little more. It's also something you can do if you don't have Squarespace with any other type of website or service provider. You can add something called a favicon. Favicon? 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 Fovicon? Frovicon? It's a favicon, I believe. Fav icon. That's what they basically call it. Anyway, how do you add this? Or what is it? Do you see the CNN thing here? The logo, the logo of Gizmodo, uh, Gizmodo, the logo of TechCrunch, the logo of Squarespace, and then you've got the Jared Poland logo that I've used for quite a while here. This is on my jaredpoland.com. But how do you add this to your site if you use Squarespace? So I'm going to interrupt myself here because I wanted to add something that I didn't originally put in the video. But this is a branding and marketing play. You want people to be able to, to recognize your logo at any time and just reinforcing it by having a favicon up here in the corner of a tab is really doing that. It gets people familiar with your brand so that when they see your colors, like you know that this is the YouTube logo, even if we didn't read this, or Yahoo, or CNN, or TechCrunch, or Engadget, or JaredPoland.com, you become familiar with seeing those things time and time again, day in and day out. So it's about creating more marketing and branding. It's that brand awareness that I'm trying to explain is important here. And it's whether you have Squarespace or you don't have Squarespace, just think about your logo, the color you use, the text you use, the fonts you use. Just, I mean, really, the color. We know Yahoo, CNN, and those things stand out. And you see it time and time again, which means it's at the forefront of the people's minds who are looking at your pages. And then when you reinforce your branding on your website with your logos and your colors, it just becomes more effective. Like I said, it doesn't matter if you have Squarespace or anything else. It's a branding or marketing thing to get this favicon up there in the corner. So now this is how you're going to do it on Squarespace. When you're on your editor, you go to the sprockly sprocket thing down here, spacely sprocket, and you go ahead and you click it, and you takes you inside. You click on the sprocket right here. Then you have basic information. You scroll down, and right here it says browse, browser icon, favicon. Using this field below, you can upload a browser URL icon for use with your site. The icon can be in the PNG or ICO format and will be resized by the browser for display in your URL bar. Uh, note, IE, Internet Explorer, does not support PNG format. I don't care about you, Internet Explorer. I am uploading a PNG right now of my file, uh, of my favicon, what I want. And it's not this. It's this. So I'm adding this, it's getting added, and there it is, I'm hitting save. But I didn't tell you the settings to use. They say a 300 by 300 pixel icon saved in a PNG or ICO format is what you would upload because that is what is most recognized around the internet. And so what you would see is my favicon right here, and you can do that yourself. It's a very simple thing to add, really quick, drag and drop, just upload the image. And if you need help, Squarespace has the how do I add a favicon for my site. I will link you here. You can listen to the lady talk if you want to listen to her talk. I, I wasn't a fan of listening to her talk, but it was very informative because it was so darn simple. You have all the information that you need right there. And that is one of the reasons I like using Squarespace for my personal website, jaredpoland.com. This is just another tip of something that I've come up with, or not come up with, something that I've done to my Squarespace that was easy. I haven't done a lot of tweaking to it, but what I would like to ask you guys, if you have a Squarespace, what are some of the tweaks and changes that you've made or come across that have made it even better? Uh, please leave that as a comment down below here on YouTube or over on my website or email it any way that you can, because I want to hear what you've done that you found to help you and make your site better that I can help other people's with by bringing it to their attention. So that is what I have this time around. If you would like to try Squarespace out and you're looking for an easy turnkey solution for a photo portfolio like I have with jaredpoland.com, because here's jaredpoland.com. I like it because it's simple. 
and I like it because it just works, and I like it because I can just scroll through my images, and they look pretty awesome, and it's very clean, and it's not very expensive. But I leave it up to you to try it, because they're giving you a 14-day free trial. If you go to squarespace.com slash fro, you can get a 14-day free trial, and then if you decide that you want to sign up, you can use the code FROTUBE, or FRO, and you can get 10% off your first month or first year. It's really 10% off your first order. So I use the basic service. It comes out to about $8.00. 40 ish cents a month. So I think it's, well, a little less than that. It's about eight bucks a month, and I'm paying about $84 a year for the service. Can't go wrong with something like that, especially when they give you 14 days to try it out. If you like it, then please sign up if you think it works for you. I just like it because it's not really expensive to use, but it's extremely powerful and gives you a very clean and professional looking website that you can take control of yourself without even having to know anything about coding like I don't know much about coding. So there you have it, guys. That's it. Jared Poland Fro knows photo.com. See ya. If you want to check out a Squarespace rapid fire critique, you can do so by clicking over there on the screen where it says, click me, hey, you, click me, I'm a Squarespace rapid fire critique, click on me. You can do that, but you can also subscribe down below here for YouTube updates. So you can get a, become a subscriber, get updates, and all those good things. But go ahead, click on something, you can see another video.